Taking pictures of trees is really simple, but it's not what you think. Trees are all pretty similar. The difference between yours and Mr. Wilson's are where they are. Pictures need to show context. Where the trees are, how they lean, and where they will fall. Our first pictures show the tree in relation to its surroundings. Stand back the height of the tree. Take two pictures. One in portrait mode to show the full tree, then take one in landscape to show the surrounding area. Now take a walk around the other side and take another picture from a different angle. These three pictures give us a good idea of the area around your tree. Our next photos are going to show the lean of the tree. That's the direction the tree wants to fall. Is it perfectly balanced or does it tend towards one side or the other? In our example, you can easily see the lean. Lean is not always easy to figure out. Next comes the most important series of pictures. We want to show the landing zone, where your trees can fall. First, we take a shot of the trunk. We put a soda can in the picture to judge the scale. Now put your back against the tree. You're going to take a 360 degree panorama from the point of view of the tree. We can do our panorama either as a video or a series of stills. The best way is a video. This little clip shows you how. We're going to walk towards our tree. And we're going to turn around and put our back to the tree and then do a 360 degree panorama walking around the tree with an especial emphasis on our landing zone. This is the area we determined this tree was going to land. So we want to make sure that we know what's going on above and below. And then we're going to continue walking around the tree because we may not be able to land it there. We may have to put it somewhere else. And with this, we can see all the way around what kind of obstacles we're going to have in felling this particular tree. You can make a panorama as a series of stills. With your back to the tree, Take a series of pictures as you walk around the tree. 8 to 12 pictures shows the situation quite well. Pay special attention to the landing zone. So to summarize, taking the correct pictures of your trees is vitally important to building an accurate estimate for your job. You should take four to five pictures and a video for each tree or group of trees. Pay special attention to the landing zone. Your pictures show where your trees are, how they lean, and where they will naturally fall.